Hello, Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. I'm the Scary DBA. I want to talk to you today about alerting on your servers. Uh, you've set up some kind of monitoring tool. Hopefully, you've got SQL Monitor from Redgate. But you've turned the alerts on, and now you've gotten all kinds of noise, and you then start turning the alerts off. That's not the way to go about it. What you need to do is when you set up monitoring and when you turn on alerting, and you should turn on alerting, you need to then tune the alerts. You need to go through them, set appropriate thresholds, turn some off, turn some on, and configure it for your system because your system is not the same as the next guys down the street. Once you've done that, then you get the proactive type of alerting that you want. Then you get signal and not noise, and that's the key. You want lots of signal, very little noise, and then you've got monitoring and alerting that help you. What I want to do today is go through SQL Monitor and show you how to tune the alerts there so that they work better for your system. Let's go try it. When you first launch SQL Monitor, the very first thing that comes up is your global overview. Now the global overview is going to show you which servers you're monitoring, which ones are online, which ones are offline. It's going to show you some basic information about them. But the one key point that it's going to show you is all of your alerts. And so you can see on my system right now I have 8 high, 4 medium, and 60 low alerts. Um, 71 of which are unread. I have, not been me I have not messed with this at all. This is a completely untuned set of alerts. So let's go in and start getting them configured. I'm going to configure alerts. And now I've got my list of alerts, and you'll notice if you look, look around that almost all of these alerts are enabled, except for processor underutilization. The first thing you should do is go through your alerts and make a decision as to whether or not you need this alert or not. That would be the very first thing I would do. Go through all the alerts and decide yes, no, yes, no. Backup overdue, for example, yes. Blocked process, yes. Cluster failover. No, I'm not running on a cluster, so having this alert does nothing for me. Database unavailable, yes. Deadlock, yes. Deadlock trace flag and disabled? Yeah, actually, that would be a good thing to know. I'm, you'll note I'm not sending an email on that, um, but you might want to. Fragmented indexes. No, I don't want an alert for that. Uh, it's not something I want checked. Um, let's see. Integrity check overdue. Yeah, that should be an alert. Job duration unusual, job failed, log backup overdue, long running query, monitoring error, monitoring stopped. All these are good alerts. Page verification. Yeah, that's probably an okay alert. Agent status, analysis services status. No, I don't want to know. Uh, full text search. No, I really don't care. SQL instance unreachable. Yeah, that might be important. Um, SQL reporting status. No, I don't care. Now, with all of these things selected, and I could keep going, I'm not going to. With these selected, I can now hit configure alerts and enabled or disabled, and I'm going to disable all of these alerts and then apply the changes. All right, so now you see all those alerts go away, they are no longer enabled. That's step one. Step two of tuning your alerts is going into each alert and looking what the thresholds are. So this is my backup overdue alert. And you'll see it's enabled or disabled, and then you get a description. And it will tell you exactly what this alert does, exactly where it's based from, so you understand why it's picking what it picks and how it's picking what it picks in the event that you've got some other mechanism for doing backups this alert might or might not be good for you depending on how it works. Now you also get a determination is this a low alert, a high alert, or a medium alert. Now personally backups are overdue. I think that should be medium. I'd like to see more of a response on that. Okay, So that's the kind of thing you can adjust. And is 14 days a good number for overdue? No, it's not. Not for me. If my system has not backed it up in the last two days, I want to know about it. So now I've changed this, I've got it set, now it's going to medium, it's going to be on two days. This alert will get raised uh, much higher and much faster now because of the adjustments that I've made to customize it for me and my system. Further, while we're here, you're also going to talk about notification. 
Now I'm not going to talk to you about how to configure your uh, email settings, but all you have to do is have a SMTP um, place to, to forward the emails to. Personally, I like working off of two email lists. One is an email list that go that gets all alerts. All alerts immediately go to this email list, and every DBA and or system person is on that list and gets that noise. And and frankly, it becomes noise until you tune it properly. But it's available to everyone, and that way the medium and the high alerts all go there. Then you have a second email list that allows you to capture second tier alerts, that allows you to capture the high alerts, and those are forwarded onto a phone or a pager if you're still in the dark ages. And that's generally what you want to do. So for each alert, you're going to walk through this process, enabled, disabled, yes or no, the threshold, and the thresholds are going to vary depending on the actual alert itself, and then the notification, what occurs? Is it you, does it go to us, is it emailed? If it's emailed, where does it go? And then you apply all these changes. And the fact of the matter is, you need to run through this on each and every alert in your system so that you know whether or not these things are going to respond in the way that you need them to respond in for your unique situation. If you're not doing that, if you're not setting up and configuring these alerts, then usually what happens, as I've already said, is you either get lots of noise so you switch them all off, or you start ignoring them. Either way, that's not good. You want these things to work for you, and so this is how you make those adjustments. Thank you for watching. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software, and it is a beautiful fall day.